Hello, welcome to Fools on a Hill on the YouTube channel. Uh, I'm Cal, and this week we have a first for the YouTube channel. We've all bought the same record. We're all unboxing the vaccines album. What did you expect from the vaccines? This is a 10 year, believe it or not, 10 years uh, anniversary reissue. Shot off, it's coming in this lovely uh, outer sleeve, easily removable, with a filing sticker on. Which states uh, 10th anniversary edition of 2000 copies on pink coloured vinyl. Includes what did you expect from the vaccines demo digital album? And an insert is on 180 gram all the fell vinyl, it's from Music on Vinyl. You do the, most of the reissues nowadays. I do have the original version, which would have been good to bring in for the purposes of said video, but I've not done that. Uh, first of all, this lovely, I believe this is called die cut, where there's a there's a cut out in the in the outer sleeve. Um, for the James picture in the middle there. There's a stamp number on the back, as you can see there. But mine is 2,262, which is over 2,000. It's supposed to be 2,000 pressed. So I have a feeling that doesn't necessarily indicate um, <laughs> which one it is. It must be something else. Um, but still, pretty cool to have it kind of individually numbered. I believe this is how I encountered, but I think I've got 790. I got number 816, which you can hopefully see there. You can see me in the camera as well, because it's a lovely reflective cover, which is not ideal. This one is very, very shiny and gloss kind of uh, sleeve, which is a nightmare for fingerprints and showing you everything in my room. Um, but it looks very pretty. This also has a spine um, with obviously the artist name. It's difficult to read on it actually. Um, that's the wrong way around for a start. Take my word for it, I wouldn't lie. Um, on the original, it's um, it doesn't have one. It's quite like a thin um, sleeve. Let's get inside, shall we? So pull the sleeve out, comes with a download code, which if you can capture that, it doesn't work. <laughs> so you can have it. It also comes with this insert featuring three designs, and on the back there is Another one of the designs, very similar, that's for one of their gigs in Camden on 7th of October. That one is New York, that one's LA, and then that one is London. Very good. I don't know why the hat theme, but I appreciate it. Now, oh, let's head on to the PS3 results. In the inner sleeve itself, you've got the, the main picture on one side, and the other side you've got the picture of, of somebody sat facing outwards. And you've got the uh, the credits on there as well. Um, now we come to the best part. It's on a lovely pink vinyl. Um, the record middle bit, I can't remember what it's called now. Um, it'll come to me when I've stopped recording. But that is identical to the original version as well. The original just being a black vinyl, obviously, but um, that is the same. As I said, it's a reissue. The original was pressed on black vinyl. However, this is pressed on a lovely, I want to say hot pink. It's not really coming across on the camera, but in real life, it is a very vibrant. Personally, I'd have preferred it to have been that shade of pink, but beggars can't be choosers. But it's very nice. It's a great addition to a collection. You know, it's a great album. I didn't have the original, so it seems like a good way of, of having that. All in the same order as the original track uh, list as well. Um, the only thing that's different is the fact that it comes with the download code and that poster. I don't believe my original one had that poster. Um, I bought it from Banquet Records, which they always put in a nice little note, which I always find very, very nice. Banquet is probably my independent record store of choice, other than up north, which is in Chester where I live. So yeah, very good. I listened to the record, it seems different. I don't know if that was like a placebo effect that I had, um, but it kind of felt faster, which I don't really understand because surely they haven't re-recorded. It's a great album. Like I said, if you want to listen to our actual thoughts on the album, I'll link the description link the episode in the description below. I believe it was 15, but I could be wrong. We go into more depth uh, in our segment album spotlight when it was actually 10 year anniversary that's it 
I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed a special unboxing of us all doing this. Um, for me, it's been the same as usual, but for you, it'll be the best experience of your life. So if it's not been done, follow us at Insta and Facebook at Falls on a Hill Podcast. Twitter is at Falls on a Hill Pod. You're already here, so you should be liking, subscribing, and dinging that goddamn bell for one. And also leave a comment if you did get this, what number you got, um, and other video ideas if you want to do anything special uh, we can do. Um, we've all got our Discord links as well, that'll be in the comments so you can see what, what else we've got. Um, but yeah, enjoy yourselves, it's later than you think.